Next morning, my adventure continues, but not before a round of breakfast. So, first on the list. Good morning, we can start our day with a breakfast, of course. And I'm going to show you a traditional Kosovo dish called feta. And what it is, is basically, it's almost like a pancake with multiple layer, can, like a creep like pastry. They eat it with sour cream here, but today morning I'm going to have it with a yogurt. This dish is very, very simple. All it is is basically consists of salt, butter, and yogurt. Blend it together. And another good thing is here on March 18th, it's called the Feta Day, where relatives invite their families in coming together and to prepare feta and eating it. Um, it's very, very plain. But nice. I'm not too sure how to eat it, but this is what I'm gonna try. That's the only way I can operate the camera and at the same time eat this. Well, I'm not done yet. The second food I'm gonna show you is also a traditional Kosovo um, pastry. And it's basically a mini roll stuffed with meat and onions. With that being said, let's eat. You can see the stuffing right in there. Like the bit of meat, and you can feel the onion. Really, really awesome. After filling up, let's get going by heading to the Pristina's bus station. So once you get to the bus station, you pay the 10 cents platform fees, and go to platform number four, and you will buy the ticket on the bus. So I believe this is our bus, it leaves pretty frequently. Uh, this one's probably leaving about next 10 to 15 minutes. I'm not gonna go inside because I like the fresh air. With that being said, let's just hope it leaves soon and we can get there soon. The ride is only 15 minutes and 10 kilometers from the Pristina bus station. In no time, we have arrived at Gratinica, the Serbian part of Pristina, the village centered around the Gratinica monastery, built on the ruin of 6th century basilica. We have arrived at Gratinica monastery. This is a Serbian Orthodox monastery built in 1321 by King Stefan Melchutin on the ruin of the 6th century basilica. And today, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The monastery was declared a monument of culture of exceptional importance in 1990. In 2006, it was placed under UNESCO World Heritage List under the name of Medieval Monument in Kosovo. Of the former monastery compound, only the church has survived and the monastery is one of King Milton's last monumental endowments. Guatanita Monastery has a shape of five dome building with foundation in the shape of a developed cross, belonging to a group of first-class architectural achievement of the epic. The interior consists of medieval era paintings that are impressive, especially on the side which are enchanted cavern of vivid lifelike murals. After the 99 Kosovo War, the Bishop of the Reska and Patron transferred the official seat to this monastery from Patron. And since then, the monastery has become not only the most important spiritual but also the national and political center of the Serbian people in Kosovo. Beside the monastery, the other attraction in town is the artificial reservoir on the river Gracanka, built in 1963 to 1966 in order to supply the city of Pristina with water. So this is Lake Gratinica behind me. Uh, to get here, there's only two options, either walking six kilometers from Gratinica and uh, taking a taxi. I don't have that much time, so I took a taxi, but make sure you bargain. They try to charge me like six euros one way, and I say round trip six euros, and they accept it. So driver's waiting behind me, but you can always bargain harder, trust me. That's the rule.
When it is full, the lake is 3.5 kilometers in length and up to 500 meters wide, with a maximum depth of 30 meters, a total volume of 26 million cubic meters of water. The lake has a catchment area of 109 square kilometers. It is also used and a favorite for locals as a spot for swimming, picnicking, and fishing.